hi so um initially i was going to just do um, a direct message but i thought why not do a message that can be helpful to anyone who has this uh this problem or this questions to address so this will be to help people who have passed ielts and cbt and they're looking to get employment in the uk so this is for nurses um so because of the new regulation in the uk it's been ongoing for some time now um, active recruitment in developing nations is no longer allowed however uh, because the uk is a champion of equal opportunity uh, it means um, if someone applies for a job with any employer they cannot be discriminated against because of where they come from which makes it possible for individuals to apply directly to the employer so this takes out the the uh, agencies uh, as it were most agencies will not help recruits from developing nations they'll rather um, scout for candidates outside the developing nation list and nigeria nigeria is one of those on the list of developing nations um so my advice to you uh nurse who have fast your ielts and cbt uh, that's ielts or oet and cbt and you have the um so no, sorry i'll say that again for nurses who have passed their ielts or oet and their cbt and they have the all clear from from the from the nmc um to to apply for for oski um so it means you've been cleared by the nmc here in the uk um my advice to you is to go on trac jobs um especially in uh, register there the registration can be quite it shall i say laborious or cumbersome or lengthy um, it, it will take time for you to register but the good thing is that you can use the same registration for other um other job applications that you want to do most importantly your personal statement your cv they're very important my advice to you will be to use a uk job website a lot of them websites like reads like cv library um, um just had the track and i can remember now that, that there's a lot of um um job job sites in fact i think job site is actually one of those you can use too they have a section where they can help you prepare your cv professionally they can help you prepare your person statement professionally and these are the things that make you stand out uh, in the pack because a lot of people will be applying for the same jobs so why should the employer employ you so your cv usually is what your cv your person statement is usually what gets you the interview then your performance and the at the interview is what gets you the job but you need to get the interview first so um t track jobs um uh nhs jobs um and this this one um i probably say don't bother capital capital uh, nurse international recruitment they're like a conglomerate of of agencies they're usually more interested in people who are outside the the um, developing nation list. So I say don't don't bother about that. Just uh, applying directly to to employers uh, can make a massive difference because the if you if you fit the narrative they want, if you have the qualification they want, the experience they want, then you stand a good chance they can employ you directly the employers and it is employers 
NHS Trust. Um, a lot of them can employ you directly. So I think most important thing you want to do right now is to ensure that your CV is professional um, as per the UK requirement, the UK standard, and using a UK job site will be a good way to achieve that. CV person statement will make you stand out in the park and give you better opportunities. Um, yeah. Uh, also, uh, overseas nurses, overseas trained nurses. If you have a look on our uh, on our Twitter um, page, it's a Twitter page or Twitter handle. If you have a look on there, we have a a thread. It's called um, I think it's relocation hashtag relocation DIY. Um, so if you if you search that, we 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 periodically. I go on the NHS jobs website on the track jobs website and when we see vacancies we post it there and with that you can you know you can apply um, I hope you find this helpful my name is Cindy Bella